Okay, just uh, a little about me. My name's Mark. I'm from the UK, and I previously worked in the IT sector, predominantly on uh, help desk. Um, I wanted to expand my skill set, so I chose to do the Cisco certification track. Um, just finished up my CCMP today. Um, but I initially started with the CCNA. Um, I had a fairly basic understanding of IP addresses in terms of help desk administration, but I really wanted to um, just grow and take it to the, the next step so I can progress with my career. Um, what can I say? Uh, Thailand's a great place. Um, I did do uh, a lot of research into where I'd like to study. There's loads of boot camps back home, but I'm happy with my, my choice and the training that I've received here in Thailand. Um, I was quite fortunate that I was traveling in Southeast Asia at the time. So when I was in Bangkok, I actually had the chance to come and meet the uh, managing director, Sandy, and see the office and you know, discuss the course in detail. Um, I'm happy I, ch I chose to study here as opposed to a boot camp back home because I feel for me, um, having the hands on with the equipment and the labs and the racks really, really help out. Um, I previously had video tutorials and PDFs, but you really need to get your hands on. And I, I don't think a five day boot camp would have been uh, enough for me personally. Um, so, depending on your own needs, uh, in terms of accommodation as well, um, I, I chose to stay in Saladeng, which is about five, ten minutes away from the office. And I, I live with local Thai people because I like the experience. Cause I've been traveling for a while. but. The company do offer accommodation with its own lab and rack in an apartment room which you can share with other students. So that's really good and handy to have when you come home from class or on the weekends if you need to go over and refresh. Um, what I would say to future students thinking to come by, um, don't buy any books. You get um, Cisco Press books in the course. It's probably worth doing a bit of pre-reading online just to help out. Um, I used uh, CBT Nuggets. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but yeah, I found that very, very, very good. Um, it's so, and, and basically, as much research you can do beforehand, the better, the better, you, better off you're going to be in the course. So um, I definitely recommend doing that. Plus, it's handy to have when you go home as well. So yeah, so don't don't waste your money on books because they're in the course fees. Um, but yeah, as much research you can do, the better and easier you're going to find it. Um, Thailand itself is great. Um, it has something for everyone, whether you want to be uh, quiet or whether you want to have a little party and a bit of a breather on the weekend. There's um, uh, plenty of sites and attractions to see. As in terms of food. Um, I love trying new things, and depending on your budget, you know, if if you haven't got much to spend, there's plenty of uh, street food, which I think is really nice. And it's quite cheap and it's available everywhere. But if you've got a bit of a uh, a dodgy tummy, like some people have been here, there's plenty of uh, Western food. There's fast food outlets around the corner, uh, McDonald's, Burger King, Subway, um, you know. In, it's not not all of it is junk food, you know, you can get sandwiches and baguettes from places and stuff. So if if that's one of your concerns, it's, I would say that's not an issue. Um, accommodation wise, as I mentioned before, I, I did my own thing at the time, but now they have uh, apartments put in place for students. And I'd probably encourage to take advantage of that because getting your hands on the racks and practicing command lines is, is uh, very, very important. And I think being around other students as well will probably help uh, motivate you and you can bounce ideas off each other and question each other and it's quite good. As opposed to me where I've just been studying in my room but 
Um, I'm fairly friendly with my trainer, uh, Ankit, who's been great, which I had for CCNA and my CCMP uh, routine, switching and troubleshooting, which I'm finishing up today. And um, any questions I've had, any troubles, he's always been available to me, not just in class time, but on weekends. Uh, when I was preparing for my CCNA exams, I did lots and lots of practice questions at, at home and any questions or queries that I had because Cisco do ask tricky questions at times when uh, even when the theory is good they'll try and catch you out he's always been there for me so um, I, I give top marks for that um, which brings me to another point it's a bit of a no-brainer but you definitely want to bring your laptop with you because um, it's handy in class it's good just to have um, PDF books in it from the, from the next books because you don't want to be lugging around loads of books all the time. Plus, if you have the, the, the video tutorials that I mentioned before, um, plus it's good just to have lab simulators as well. So uh, whether you're using Cisco Packet Tracer or GNS3, it's good just to go through things in, in your own time. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's food, uh, accommodation. Lifestyle in Thailand is... Um, yeah, really good. People are really, really friendly. Um, I wouldn't worry about language barrier. Um, most people speak uh, pretty small pidgin English, but you're not going to have any problems. Um, in terms of climate, I think it's like a steady 33, 34 degrees most of the time, but the offices are all air conditioned and in good order, so um, that's for me it's not an issue. I just wear shorts and t-shirts every day. Um, and I'm uncomfortable. Um, yeah, so apart from that, um, I'm uh, very happy. Um, halfway through at the moment, my Cisco certification track, I've got switching and uh, voice to go, which uh, I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, so I think that's pretty good for now. But um, if you do have any questions or queries, um, just email the guys through the website. Um, I'm sure whatever queries you have, they'll answer it within 24 hours. So uh, yeah. So anything you need, yeah, just drop them a line. And uh, yeah, and good luck with your studies. Okay. Thank you, Mark, for your nice feedback. Thank you. Okay. Bye.